Hi there, it's Liz Yule from Old Stables Crafts again, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, today's project is, now that we're at the end of celebration, um, we need to start thinking about things that we know are going to retire. So um, that's part of what this is. This is the uh, stamp set, the Dragonfly Dreams. Um, don't know if this is going to carry over yet or not. Um, my gut feel is that it may, um, but what I do know is going to retire is anything that is uh, an ink colour. So for those of you who don't know, um, Stamping Up have five colour families. Um, neutrals, subtles, brights, regals and ink colours. And ink colours are split in half, so most of the Colour families have 10 inks in them, or 10 colours in them. Um, the exception to that is the neutrals, um, which, because it's got craft white and the archival, um, is it 10? Mm, possibly. Um, anyway, the ink colours are split into two groups of five. So um, they are on a sort of rolling programme. So the current ink colours, um, are the 2015-2017 and the 2016-2018 but at the end of May the 2015-17 in colours will go and they will be replaced by five new um, colours which we don't know yet what they are um, all we know is that there will be five new ones so if you like the current in colours um, that are about to retire, which are Mint Macaron, Tip Top Taupe, Watermelon Wonder, Cucumber Crush, and, and, oh, Delightful Dijon. If you like them and you like the designer series papers that go with them, you need to order them now because once they start selling out, they will not be replaced because we know they're not going to carry over we know they won't be replaced on I think it's the 10th of April it's there or thereabouts we will get the retiring list but I can absolutely well I say absolutely I'm 99.9% .9 certain that anything that is that has got an in colour in it so all the project life stuff all the designer series papers if it's got an in colour it will retire. I can't see that they will carry them over. But also, it means that if you've got the ink pads, if you haven't already got re-inkers, you need to think about ordering those now. Certainly from a Europe point of view, most of the re-inkers and a lot of the stamp, uh, a lot of the ink pads are currently on back order. Um, and there are hundreds on back order waiting for stock to come in and I'm recording this before the end of celebration, so about two weeks out from the end of celebration. This will be going live at the beginning of April. So, you know. Um, anyway, that's due warning. Now, too much chit chat. Um, so this is today's project. As I say, we're using the Dragonfly Dreams um, stamp set, mint macaron card base, um, and that's my usual A5, uh, metric A5, scored in half to make an A6 base. As ever, don't worry about uh, taking writing down the measurements because they will be on the associated blog post, which is linked below. Um, so it's mint macaron, so saffron, um, and there's a bit of wink of Stella. But those are the only two colours that I'm using. So um, apart from obviously whisper white. So let's get started. Um, I'm hoping this will be a quick video. Huh. Every time I say that, things go a bit pear shaped. Um, I'm going to do the same colours but reverse the mats just to show the slight difference. So we're starting with So Saffron uh, and I'm going to stamp all of the Dragonfly first and then we'll put the detail in. Uh, now I am going to stamp this off so that it's a really soft colour um, so that it's not too too dark and I'm just actually going to bring in my piercing mat. Um, so at a slightly jaunty angle and without the cat hair they get everywhere um let us just stamp that down it's not meant to be a completely clean impression um it's got what i call newsprint dots 
um, so don't expect it to be a completely solid um, stamp just as well because it's not um, and then mint macaron oh and the wings I mounted on the H block then this is the dragonfly the detailed dragonfly and this is on an E block so I'm just going to ink that up in mint macaron and I'm going to stamp that down full strength now this is where if you were doing it you'd be able to put your head over so I'm going to do my best by standing on tiptoe um, as you may already know I stand at my craft desk courtesy of an incredibly bad back um, standing helps so and it means that I don't have an incredibly bad back just a bad back so there we are gosh bearing in mind I couldn't get over that that's actually better than the previous one right I'm going to leave that to set for a while and then we'll bring in some wink of Stella but in the meantime I'm going to bring in some scrap paper because I now want to bring in the dots and oops sorry bash the camera in the process that's this lot of dots here um, and I'm going to ink up and then making sure I'm on the stamp pad in fact if I do that that way I can see where the edge of the stamp pad is um, I'm just going to go round the edge of this now I'm going to do two two impressions but the thing to remember is if you've done that one you need to then put the um, stamp further away from the edge of the piece of cardstock that you're working on so that you don't get a line by which I mean let me see if I can bring in a piece of here we are so I'm going to stamp over the flowers but hey um, so I've just inked that up and that's not what I wanted to show you ink it up again so I won't stamp it I'll stamp over the back right so if I come if I stamp on the edge here that's beautiful but if I then come in I'm going to get you may not be able to see it terribly clearly but there's this line where where the um, ink was caught between the card and the piece of paper so it didn't it didn't stamp off so just be careful that you do bear that in mind if you're going to just be rash and stamp straight round so I would always come in a bit and then go out a bit to get your second generation um, and on the edge here where you're working around the wings you don't actually want to do go over the wings but you can then come back in a bit more so I hope you all enjoyed celebration um, we've just got another nine months to wait for the next one um, but in the meantime um, at the point where you are watching this, I will be packing, ready to go to On Stage Live. I'm going to the live event, um, which is in Amsterdam. Um, I haven't been to Amsterdam for about 20 years, so um, which A, ages me, and B, I think is a bit sad. Just going to clean this, because I will then come in with So Saffron. So, ooh, bash the camera again. Or tripod right so so saffron so yes i'm getting terribly excited about going to the live on stage um i've only done on stage once before and it was a local version um up in telford um so i am looking forward to doing live i think it's going to be fantastic um lots of lots of fun and games so yes at the point when you're watching this um, I think I will still be packing ready to go as opposed to be there um, but um, it is going to be very exciting um, and meet lots of the Dutch members of our team so that'll be fun um, and also some of the other European country members because we the wider team that I am part of has members across the whole of the five European countries so um, actually I want that back because I'm going to do the sentiment in so saffron uh, I'm just going to set that to one side for a moment and bring in a strip of whisper white um, all the dimensions will be on the associated blog post which as I say is linked below so 
fear not. And this again is where if I could stand over, I would be feeling a little more happy about doing this. That's all right then. So yes, it's going to be such fun. It's one of the one of the great perks of being a demo is you get to go to these events and meet lots of lots of other demonstrators and share ideas and swaps and all sorts of fun. Right. So to get the angle, um, see, there's an angle here. What I'm doing, actually, we don't. Yes, we do. Um, what I'm doing is I'm just going to line that up and then taking my snips, I am going to cut through both layers together, then I know that that angle is the same. Then I'm just going to snip off a little more at this end, get in some snail, and oops, some of that's gone over the, I'll come in with a, come in with a, an adhesive remover in a moment. Uh, just pop that so that it's got a nice frame around it. Find my adhesive remover because I've got some snail that just went off the edge which therefore might pick up some dirt. So adhesive removers are great. This will take off pretty much every one of our adhesives including when it's dry, Tombow, and the fast fuse. Um, fast fuse takes quite a bit of work to get it off but it will come off. So yes, brilliant and it's not expensive it's three pounds something i think in the uk um and then just snip that off so yes i'm terribly excited about going to on stage we get to see all the new products um before anybody else including before other demonstrators so yeah if you don't go you don't get the sneak peeks uh right i'm going to adhere this to my base Some snail and this is a very this is a tight uh, mat it is my usual fairly tight mats and then fold let's pop that there for a minute fold this in half find a bone folder I have about six bone folders and you would be amazed how infrequently I can find one right okay so let's pop this onto the base and then we're nearly done So at the point where I am recording this, I will know, but have not yet been able to announce, well, no, at the point of recording this, I won't know who won my 500 subscriber, YouTube subscriber giveaway, because I don't know yet. Um, but hopefully, very soon, it will be live. Who won? Um, so yeah, and then there'll be another giveaway once we get to 750 subscribers. Um, so looking forward to that. Right, let's get, I've just put some foam pads on the back. These dimensionals are great because certainly for the UK, it means that you don't have to pay additional postage. And however much I love the Royal Mail, I don't love their large letter stamps. So there we are, but everything, there's a, the wonderful Dina Rico in the US, who uh, her YouTube um, videos are under the Creativity Cave, and she is the Dina Rico of the Creativity Cave. She always says everything's better with glitter or glimmer and also better with spritzing. So we're going to start with, whoa, a lot of glimmer. So this is my clear wink of Stella, my very juicy, apparently, clear wink of Stella. And then I'm also going to do her usual trick of Hopefully it'll work. Bashing and, and she's right. It is so much better with a bit of spritzing. So there we are. Right, whilst that is drying and I managed to do it so that where I need to go is not wet by good luck. I'm going to take, these are the um, enamel shapes. So in so saffron. So I'm taking a heart and just popping it there on the back of our dragonfly because I think it looks a bit like the mark on the back of the dragonfly. And I've run out of hearts, that was my last one. So I'm just going to take one of the adhesive dots and pop that there. Um, so there we go. I hope you've enjoyed that. If you want any of the products, um, 
there's a link to my online store below and on my blog which is also linked below uh, will be the list of all the products I have used not that there are many um, so it would be great if you wanted any of those if you went over to my online store that would be super I would love you to, to um, shop through me and if you spend more than £25 and use the current hostess code which will be on my blog um, then you get to join my VIP rewards club and you get lots of free stuff so free projects um, exclusive to the VIPs, um, extra newsletters and some giveaways and stuff. So um, that would be great if I would love to welcome you to that. Um, if you've enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Um, if you would like to see more, hit the subscribe button, which will be coming up and it's my face. Um, so hit the subscribe button. As I say, when we get to 750 subscribers, there will be another free giveaway. Um, so that's good. Um, if you want to join my team, that would be lovely too. I would love to welcome you to my team. It would also mean that you would be able to pre-order um, from the new annual catalogue. That goes live on the 1st of June, but you, we get to pre-order um, about a month early. So if you were to join my team, you could um, fill up your starter kit with lots of lovely existing goodies. Um, and then you could order early um, from the new annual catalogue um, as one of the perks. So, yeah, and I'd love to welcome you to my team. We have such fun. Um, and, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's great to be part of an, of an inspiring and creative group. Anyway, thank you very much for joining you and I will see you again very soon. Thanks a lot.